God and man didn't have the same relationship. They didn't have, they weren't, it said, if you eat of the fruit, you will be, die. Okay, well, man didn't die physically, but spiritually that connection was lost. So the covenant was broken. The covenant was broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. We see that sin and damnation came into the world. And we see that now man is under Satan's government. Because he's no longer, there's two spiritual sides, right? There's God and there's the, the enemy, the enemy is Satan. So three, the consequences. Consequences. The first one is now man is child of the devil. And we see that in um, John 8, 44. That Christ Jesus says to the Pharisees, you are children of the devil. You want to do his work, right? We see idolatry. which is anything that satisfies our needs, but not what God wants for us, right? The I syndrome. We see emotional problems. Which we're gonna talk more about in, in our study today. Which is in those spiritual things that, that <laughs> that, that, a stumbling um, block, kind of like a stumbling block. It's it it could be depression. It could be it, it could be um, conflict in in ourselves. It could be lack of sleep. It could be burdens. It could be lack of identity. There the there's so many things that fall into this this area. Physical problems. which many times those lead to those, right? Future. The only future we have here is death, judgment, oops, forgot the end, and hell. Good thing you guys don't have your glasses. Um. <laughs> it's funny because I can see everything you're reading. Now. I think of that course. we're very worth this morning. <laughs> Yeah, I can see far, but not close. <laughs> and generational problems. And we've talked about some of these in our past studies. Mm -hmm. So man has always tried to get back to God. And we see that in human methods. And we've talked about some of those when we were looking at um, Genesis, right? Man tries to get back to God through religion, but that's not the answer. Religion is when man looks, is seeking God, but God's already paid the price for man. He's already extended his love to man. And so God is looking for us. When we realize that, we're not caught up in the in religion. religion, right? We see it in philosophies. And we see it in good works. Many times people will say, oh, but I've been faithful in so many different ways. But if we, if our sights aren't set on the solution, which is Christ Jesus, we cannot reconnect with our spiritual father. So up here we have our solution. He came to be our true prophet, our 
true priest and our true king. True prophet, it's, oh, that's spelled that wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so spoiled by Spanish that I... You make sure, yeah. It, it makes it... True prophet, he said in John 6, uh, 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, right? So Christ reconnects us. Now this pen is starting to die to you. Is that connection that brings us back to our correct place. True priest, in the Old Testament, a priest was who get, did made sacrifices and shedding of blood to cover one's sins, but Christ paid for our sins with his own blood on the cross. True king, he had victory over death, he had victory over the enemy, Satan, and he gives us victory. True king, okay? We see that this was all prophesied in the Old Testament as promises. Um, in, in Emmanuel, a virgin will give birth to a son and he will be called um, Man of God. Right? We see it in the blood sacrifice that was established in the beginning. And we use a verse from Exodus that says, God called his um, people to go to Pharaoh and request to go into the desert and make sacrifices to their God, right? And we see it in Genesis 3.15, when he says, the seed of woman will smash the serpent's head and the serpent will strike his heel. We see all of these things completed in the New Testament with in Matthew 1, 21 through 23. Again, is that promise to to Maria to Mary that she's going to have a son and he will be the savior of his people and he will be called Emmanuel, God with us, right? We see it in Matthew 16, 16 when Peter says he is the Christ, the son of the living God and in John nineteen thirty. When he declares, it is finished. That's that victory that was made on the cross, right? So, it's our choice to accept what Christ came to do. And if we do accept, then we are um, made children of God, right? Is that believe and receive? Is. Okay. Um, John one twelve says, "For all who have believed." Um, will be called children of God, right? Confess or declare. And we find that verse in Romans 10, 9, 10, and 13. And we also see that in Revelation, it says, Hear, be, 
and open. Revelation 3.20 When? Today. What's the significance of open? Open? Um, the, the verse that I'm referring to says, um, here I am at the door. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I knock. Right. Whoever mm -hmm. opens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me read it real quick. It says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and him with me. So, here, be there, <laughs> open the door. He promises to come in and, and, and be with us, right? Today is Proverbs. Are we talking spiritual food rather than physical? Yes. Carrie, is this scripture also um, um, continual as we seek him? Or is it just for that time when he first comes to us? He promises to always be with us. So that you can say so it's consecutive, it. it's continual. Oh, yeah. Every time we knock or whatever, he, he's there. And, I mean, we're talking, these. this, this is our salvation, okay. right? So when we've accepted him and we've believed and received, we've confessed that he is Christ, that he came to in our separation, give his blood for us, that he adds victory over death, this becomes our new identity, right? Okay. And and he will he says he's always with us to the end of time. Okay. So we are never with if we've put Christ into the corrupt place in our lives, we'll never look we'll never be separated from him again. Today says, um, don't worry about tomorrow, right? Tomorrow will have its own. <laughs> so today is the day. We, we, shouldn't, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't put off either for tomorrow what we can do today, right? And the last part of this is, our, is, is what we get from all of this, which is our salvation. Which is a new identity. It says that we have are saved by grace in Ephesians. There goes that eight F again. <laughs> uh -huh. Two, eight, nine. It says that we have been moved from death to life. We're no longer over here. We're now reconnected. We now we now have life from In darkness, darkness to light. right, mm -hmm. and from darkness to light. That's the that's the last one right here. Do I have to choose it? Life. I think this is pertinent. The uh, on the social media stuff where they put true and untrue things. There was this article about Steve Jobs' final. Final words, the multi billionaire. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And there's this, I guess it's not really true. All these beautiful non material things that he was saying, he, he was kind of repenting. But his sister said the last three words that he said, she said that other stuff's not true. He went on his way out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And I'm like, what did he see? <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Just mm. You might have had an experience right there. Well. Or given the opportunity. I think we believe Christ. Yes, and it's having to do with, you know, because he was so into the material and very wealthy, probably one of the most. 